Good morning, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Monday morning. It's great to see you today. I have often said, you've heard it said, you have probably said that you're supposed to love the ones you're with. So often we take those people uh, for granted that are close to us, not, not on purpose, but, but sometimes we just think that everybody around us is going to live forever. Everybody around us is going to always be with us. And everybody around us, good or bad, is going to remain the same. Our situation is going to remain the same. Well, all the time, there's changes taking place. There's movement. And then ultimately, God is so much part of what happens next or what happens down the road. Yes, we make choices, we make decisions, but ultimately God, God decides uh, when it's time to pass on, when it's time to for the change to happen. Um, again, we make choices, we make decisions, but there's some things that just happen, that just happen. God doesn't always tell us his plan. Uh, but if we are a child of God, if we've been born again, if we're walking with Jesus each and every day, uh, there'll be things that happen in our life that maybe we can't explain. There'll be things that God allows to happen to us. There'll be things that God chooses for us that we can't explain. It's just one of those things that reminds us that God's ways are above our ways. So the key is, though, to... Keep walking with the Lord and keep trusting Him and keep knowing that He does ultimately have your best interest in mind. Uh, things may happen, uh, no fault of your own. Things may come unexpectedly in your life, but just know that God sees all and He knows all. And you got to believe again, He is doing this somehow, some way <laughs> for the good. And you may not can see the good happening when things happen to you that were unplanned. Things happen to you uh, at no fault of your own. Things happen to you uh, even though you would have decided to go a different route or do something differently. Still, still, God is the ultimate decision maker. And God knows what's best. However, sometimes he'll do things that may confuse you may make you angry, may make you even question the existence of God and your relationship with him and, and question your faith. But you just hang on to the faith that you have held on to all these years. And we will understand it better by and by. Um, until then, until then, just know that God is with you. God is going to help you through whatever it is you have to face, whatever it is you go through, have to go through. God's going to help you with that. He's not going to uh, let you go through the dark valley all by yourself. You're going to be surrounded by his presence and, and he'll put people in your life as well that will help you, that will help you through the darkest times of your life. Love the ones you're with. Uh, pull in your kids and hold them tighter. And just know that life can change on a dime. But if that happens, if that happens, you just keep your hand in the master's hand. And know also as well, those times in which you're struggling with life's challenges or circumstances, know that God is there with you and and he'll be right there by your side and when you get to the place where you can't walk no more where you can't take one step and put it in front of the other just know that god will pick you up and he'll carry you through i'm talking about jesus that's the god i serve that's the god you serve that's the god that loves us god bless you my friend have a great monday everyone and know that you're not alone, that you're not alone. Appreciate you. Thank you for watching Coffee with the Pastor.